the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your life will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. And um, you see sometimes. When people do certain things. They themselves do not even know what it is that they have done. I have prayed for you, but I want to pray for you. Come with your friends. You will step into levels you never dreamt of. It doesn't take time. It takes an anointing. You see, listen, listen, it is not what you do that makes you succeed. It is how you do it. It's not doing certain things that make people succeed. I want to pray for you. I have learned in my little life that the anointing does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. Praise the Lord. I stretch my hands upon all of you right now as I speak. May the grace that lifts men come upon every one of you as I speak right now. Receive it right now. The grace that lifts people. There is an anointing that lifts a man. It's not trial and error. Let it come upon you right now. I open up the gates of cities, the gates of territories, and I speak in the name of Jesus. A level of grace may your saxophone stop being an instrument may it become a weapon from today a weapon of healing you and your entire team let it burn like fire in your spirit like fire upon your spirit never to be the same you will sing with the sounds of the heavens and everybody that hears that sound will know that your communications are of the spirit there is a grace that lifts men you can try you can struggle you can beg you can connect no. see every time listen every time you see consistent results regardless of the situation there is an anointing please lend this there is an anointing there is an anointing that translates men swallows up the weaknesses of people may that be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ God will give you wisdom let your ministry enter another dimension I pray for character for all of you. See, this is usually the problem. 
listen let me I'm, I'm teaching you are learning the most important aspect of the anointing is the character to maintain it not the anointing because you see the anointing is very charismatic the most powerful ability of a man of God is self-control the ability to keep quiet even when you have what to say the ability to walk within the jurisdiction of the grace apportioned there are many of we people we don't have self-control especially over an opportunity like this everybody now wants to show and you do not know where God has stopped and you want to continue to stretch it to show you are anointed and then you step out of the spirit and begin to walk in the flesh because some of you are here for this same anointing but you see the, it's not just the anointing believe me this is not an issue of prayer and fasting it's an issue of knowing God and understanding his ways God is only committed to backing what he instructed if he did not direct you he will not back you hallelujah god bless you john chapter 3 verse 16 let's just look at the scripture quickly and then we'll pray there is a lot that god wants to do tonight these guys have already stared the anointing and you see the thing with the anointing is once he's stared it doesn't stop it doesn't know whether it's miracle service or easter john chapter 3 verse 16 I like you all to be sensitive the anointing has been stirred up in this place many of you do not know what the stirring of the anointing is the moment your eyes sees there is a relationship between your heart and your eyes so once your eyes sees it immediately your spirit is open and the moment your spirit is open the spirit of God starts moving he doesn't care whether you are preached or not because that's his desire hallelujah and usually once the anointing starts moving it's very difficult to contain it because the hearts of people are open in the name of Jesus I'm hearing the sound of thunder I know this is not physical I'm hearing a sound of thunder like lightning is coming upon people right now in the congregation why do I see this? It's like the sound of thunder. Thunder. It's what I hear in my spirit. It's a sound. Ah. hallelujah please pay attention the meeting is on i'm seeing ministering spirits it's a class of angels i'm seeing them walk inside and outside just let me do what is happening ministering spirits there are not many times i see these kinds of angels i'm seeing them walking inside and outside ministering spirits they are angels that impart strange levels of graces Ah, ah, yeah, say, na, 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 
Shakata brada gada bala da bakata brada. Shakata brada da bakata. They will touch you where you are. It will be like fire. They will touch you where you are. As they touch you, they release your miracles. As they touch you, they release your breakthroughs. As they touch you, they break those chains. They are touching you on behalf of families. Touching you on behalf of families. direction that's what i hear god is giving men direction it's like an anointing it will come on you outside and inside direction and end to that confusion right now it's coming like light but then you will hear him direct you direction 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 what is that area of confusion his light shines upon it right now for marriage direction Direction, direction, direction for where to settle down, geographic location, direction is coming by the Holy Ghost. Direction. Somebody is praying and say, Lord, show me. The Lord is saying, I am showing you. It's coming upon your spirit. I'm giving you direction on what to do. Direction. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the names of people written on a paper and put under a stone. And the Lord is saying, take it out. Lord, where are those people whose destinies have been buried? As I'm speaking right now, inside and outside. Right now, right now. As I speak, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Right now, where you are sitting, you will receive a visitation. I pull it out. This is a miracle service. I pull it out now. Oh yes, release that lady. I see it in the spirit. Release that lady right now. Release that lady's destiny. is happening to you where you are something is happening to you where you are begin to receive it by faith like the dew of heaven resting in this place inside and outside Lord we receive what you are doing
Just sit down if you can. Those under the anointing, just leave them. John 3, 16. I just want to the Lord has just healed a lady of a breast lump you have a lump in your left breast check it right now check it right now check it and come out right now right now I don't know why God is just interrupting please check it check it check it right now in fact I see three people check it this is a family please we are not playing games inside and outside i'm seeing three ladies who came with like a lump on their breast check it right now that devil has gone back to hell please check it quickly and come out if they are under the anointing when they when they are all right let them come out very quickly let them come out quickly augustina augustina i'm hearing the name like Augustina Augustina if there's someone like that you can just make your way to the front quickly Augustina the Lord is judging evil in your family this is oppression this is what I'm seeing oppression as it's happening to you, there's somebody outside. This same anointing is touching the person outside. The second overflow, the anointing of the Spirit is touching somebody outside. The Lord is bringing judgment to wickedness. Because I'm seeing that this is something that has to do with witchcraft. It has tied your life and your family down. And the Lord is telling me, release Augustina. Release Augustina release augustina release augustina and as it's happening to you it's also happening to that other lady in the name of jesus i release you right now from every chain that has held you be released your family be released it's time for you to testify i release both of you prophetically in the name of jesus christ every door the devil has tied let it be opened by the anointing of the spirit in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah i'm seeing a whole family that came there is a family god wants me to minister to you are five five people I don't know if there is a mother I'm seeing a family with five people who came from somewhere and the Lord wants me to minister to them you are five in all you're five in all please when you identify them they can come up so that we will just minister to them very quickly hallelujah for God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. And the Bible says that he proved that love by giving his only begotten son. Please listen. Don't worry about what is happening. Just let me have your attention please. He says he gave his only begotten son this we can take it from there that that statement he gave his only begotten son is the summation of the substitutionary sacrifice of Christ are we together now Please help her, wrap her. I command that spirit to leave her right now. 
now and never return in the name of Jesus release her family release I see a lot of money being tied release it now as you go in the name of Jesus the Christ So the Bible says he gave his only begotten son hallelujah for God so loved the world the word there is cosmos the social system that has to do with people listen please and has to do with the entire territory the social system he says for God so loved the world and he proved that love listen listen because love must be manifested to be appreciated are we together now and the bible says that he gave his only begotten son and please don't be confused there is a name that son is called jesus because there are many people who can preach to be the begotten of the father but the only begotten son who after his resurrection now became the first begotten right until the resurrection of man he was the only begotten please listen you see everything about this bible was pointing to this very revelation the revelation of jesus christ everything the book of revelation says the revelation of jesus christ not the revelation of a formula or a principle so the law the prophets abraham samson isaac judges everything was tracing to the genealogy of jesus christ and then the bible says that he manifested himself before people and he was full of grace and truth listen jesus came with a message and his message was very simple he said the word repent is not the word turn from your sins no preachers preach that as a result of lack of understanding the word repent is an indication of completely turning from a direction to another please just be patient with me this family or minister to you. are we together now turning from one direction to the other but the first step to that turning is acknowledging a person his sacrifice and his government that's the first step and then you begin to walk in accordance to his principles only when you do that are you said to have repented many people have not repented they want to repent they think they have repented they hope they are repenting the first message that was preached after the resurrection of Christ he said men and brethren what shall we do and this is what the apostle said repent for the remission of your sins so the Bible says he gave his only begotten son you laid aside your majesty gave up everything for me suffered at the hands of those you have created you took all of my guilt and shame when you died and rose again now today in heaven if you know it just sing it with me i really want to worship you my lord you have won my heart and I am yours forever and ever. I will love you. You are the only one that for me gave your life.
like you give your ATM for someone to use and withdraw money. He gave, he donated. And Jesus came upon the earth and he began to do many great things. Listen, Jesus did not just come. Please, I want you to pay attention. It's going to be very brief and we'll begin to pray. Jesus did not just come to show us how God looked alone. He came to show us how we should look. So when he walked upon the earth, he was the prototype of God's idea of the man he had created. He was invincible. The Bible records. Above situations, above circumstance, with unlimited power, yet a man of extreme self-control. He knew when to speak and he knew when to keep quiet. There would be so many sick people, like the ten lepers. He would heal one and just walk away. Because his desire was not to show power. His desire was to do the will of the Father. He was more interested in bringing satisfaction to his Father than building a ministry. People tried to say, look, build a ministry. And he said, no, 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 no. I can of my own do nothing as I see my father do. So he came to show us the prototype of the true Christian life. A life that is completely yielded to the will of the father. Void of self-ambition. Void of a desire for vain glory and personal gratification outside of Christ. A life that is crucified with Christ. Are we together now? And then the Bible begins to describe to us that which happened today many years ago. We know it as the passion of the Christ. It started from the communion where they came into him by covenant so that they would authorize him. John chapter 6 says, except you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you cannot be part of me. You cannot have my life. So while they were taking the communion, they were giving him access to carry the sin of man upon himself and then the bible says he went to gethsemane and there he cried he prayed until tears were like drops of blood afterwards he was ready to be crucified and brothers and sisters i know that we celebrate easter today is good friday pain is what made today good are we together sacrifice is what made today good if he refused to lay down his life. Listen, when Pilate looked at him and said, don't you know I have the power to free you? He said, ah, 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 ah. He said no man has this power except it is given unto him by my father. He said, I have the power to lay it down and the power to pick it up again. In other words, I was not coerced. My love for you made me to sacrifice my life, my reputation and everything. We talk a lot about Good Friday, but we never know what made it good. This is what made it good. That a man gave his son, then the son gave his life. Are we together now? It's one thing to give your child. It's another thing for the child to agree. He can refuse. Jesus had the right to refuse. In fact, he was tempted to negotiate it. He said, Father, if it be possible, you are the all wise God. There is another way you can do this thing. But then he remembered, nevertheless. I told you the hallmark of sonship is servanthood. The true proof that you are a son is that you can give up sonship to become a servant. Are we together now? The father gave Jesus. Jesus gave his life. And don't be confused. He gave his blood he gave his righteousness. Are we together now? He gave up his position. And when he was doing that, he had you in mind. Listen. Listen. He never went to the cross because of anything he did of himself. The Bible says he was a man touched with the feelings of our infirmity, yet without sin. But he took your place 
because the Bible says we all like sheep have gone astray. Right? He said every man has gone his own way. With our ideas about God. Our ideas about success. Would you give our mother a chair please? Let her just sit down. I will minister to you in a moment please. At least let her just sit down. Hallelujah. Well all of you, you can sit down. I'll call you now. They are all looking at me. Um, sit down. Especially this my friend. Friend, how are you? What's his name? Aaron. Kelvin. Just get somewhere for they can sit around and I will attend to you now. Just five minutes. Let me establish what. Hallelujah. So, please come, sir. I offend a government and they are about to destroy me. Listen, please. About to destroy me. And the Bible testifies that I have no power in myself. And then someone comes. And while I'm on my way to destruction, he interrupts. And he says, I love you too much to let you keep gambling and trying your way. This is what I want you to do. Stand back and watch me pay the price. And while he was on the way, while they were flogging him, in his mind he was saying, mankind, I hope you are watching. This would have been you. I hope you are watching. I hope you are watching the scars. As he began to bleed, he said, I hope you are watching. See, if two people come and they tell you they love you, the best answer to give those two people is, I'm watching. Because love is a verb. Are we together now? I am what? All kinds of things have told you they love you, but they left you. But Jesus said, watch my love. I'm not going to make noise about it. First, stand back. And while they flogged him, he said, if it's for you, I will still go the extra mile. And they flogged him. The father gave him, he gave his health. The father gave him, he gave his prosperity. The father gave him, when we say his life, let's break it down what what is in his life that he gave because that's what he gave you what was in the life of jesus the ability to reign and rise above sickness and diseases the father gave him he gave it away in exchange the bible says he was rich but he gave it are we together now he had a reputation of dominion but he laid it aside. I hope you know that they stripped him naked. The covering you see around is just for social reasons when you are watching movies. A 33 year old man, naked. Children watched him. Adults watched him. People mocked at him and said, you claim to be a king. And he said, this is all for you. Are we together? Blood dripping out from every part of his body. Every time he was tempted to give up, he said, no, if I give up, where I stop is where you must continue. And I know that even if it was for the last nail, you still would not be able to take it. See, listen, if you think what happened on the cross is what Jesus just died for, physically, you will be deceived because there are human beings who have been crucified. What he stopped you from was not the physical activity. It was what was happening in the spirit. You can do the physical one. I guarantee you people have been crucified. But you don't know what that meant. In the spirit. A lot was interplaying in the spirit. While that was happening. He became Adam. From Gethsemane. From Gethsemane to the cross. He was no longer the Christ. He was Jesus. Adam. The very man of sin. Mortality came upon him. Please listen. And the father kept watching. He had given him. And he knew that it is more blessed to give. Than to receive. So there was no negotiation about receiving. The blessing was that he would bring many sons into glory. Are we together now? When they took him to that cross. And they nailed him. As his blood began to drip upon the earth. And in that excruciating 
It was a way of torturing criminals. He was not just looking at Mary and John. He was looking at you. He was looking at me. He was looking at every witchcraft in our family and every ordinance of darkness. And he said, if it's for you, I will do it. But he made a very interesting statement we are going to establish tonight. Three words that represented victory. It is finished. Oh, hallelujah. I didn't study English. But I know that when a man says, it is finished. It is finished. Is a reality that is present and continuous forever. Not it was finished. You would have said the condition for it finishing has changed. So we have to start another one. It is finished. The question is, what is the it that has been finished? First, that inability to access the Father. We call it lack of righteousness. He said that error is finished. That, 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 that Christianity that has to do with ceremonial cleansings, having to atone for your sins by your own strength, I brought it to an end. That ability of saying qualify and come to God. He said it is finished. You now will come through my own invitation. My own access. Like I organize a program. And I invite someone. And while you are about to drive him. I say no, no, no. That's my guest. Come. But you are not only his guest. He also made you the one to be celebrated. Please listen. There is a dimension of this we have not learned. And this is what I want to teach us. When Jesus went to hell and met Satan, a discussion transpired. And Satan said, remember Adam. And he said, I don't remember Adam. I am him. Don't you see? This is Adam. And Satan knew it was true. Because only Adam had the right to collect the key. No other man could collect the key. And so he went as the second Adam. And said, you killed Adam. And every man that came from him, let me have the keys. Revelations 1 verse 1, when you read down what? I am he that was dead, but now I am alive and I hold the keys. He collected the keys. Listen. Access to the earth, access to dominion, access to God's life. That's the most important part. The life of God. I'm going to explain it. When he resurrected, watch this. Did you know that if he just started walking and doing all of the things he did, man would not be able to partake of it because he had not ascended to heaven. It would just be that he was victorious. And then the Bible says, according to the book of Hebrews, that he went to heaven as the high priest, the lamb, the sacrifice, as everything. And then he took his blood, poured it upon that tabernacle, and said, Father, you are just for seeing that man does not have access to divine health and all of this because you are a just God. Your throne is founded upon righteousness and justice. The Bible says they are the foundations, meaning there's no negotiation that will bend it. But now he says, every time you think justice, let mercy begin to speak. Watch this. I really want you to get a revelation of this. It will change your life. Every time the voice of judgment, the voice of mess of, of, of justice begins to speak, I will not fight it. But remember that I not only paid the price, I paid the price for everybody who will be an offender on this path. Are we together now? When that happened, a coronation happened in heaven we see that coronation the psalmist gave us a revelation and from philippians chapter 2 the bible says a name an office an identity was given to him in heaven to sit upon that throne are we together now and the bible says anything that has to do with man's redemption 
man's vindication must pass through him meaning a man is only condemned when he condemns that man a man is only justified when he justified the father put it in his office are we together watch what he did when he sat down on that throne he told man there is another dimension you do not know i know that i paid the price for you but i want to teach you another dimension we paid it in covenant listen you did not participate in anything but out of my love i took you and made it as though in me you were the one who paid that price so not only did he die for you you died in him are we together now so in christ every man's iniquity every man's um basis for accusation was nailed in christ paul saw this in galatians 2 20 and he said i have been crucified with christ nevertheless he said i live yet not i but christ is an exchange he died for me now i live in him in other words the day jesus christ dies there is no reason why i should be alive because we're in him so my life is no longer something i get outside of him my life is an overflow of what i have received from him and he's so designed that from that point hence listen everything i derive will be because of him in him and with him my joy is because of him my prosperity is because of him please listen my peace is because of him so at no point in this kingdom would i be found leaning on my own strength because the moment i lean on my own strength the judgment of the law catches up with me the only basis for vindication is to be in him this is what he said he says he that abides in me and i abide in him he said the same will bear much fruit he said for without me the word without means outside of me and everything that i have done ye can do nothing the basis of the believer's victory is what christ did on the cross but not just what christ did on the cross because that's what a lot of people say oh i know what he did no let's continue john 3 verse 16 please give it to us so that we can finish up it's not enough to know what jesus did that's not where i'm going tonight this is the part that concerns you that whosoever believes believes what no 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 it didn't say that whosoever believes anything there is a specific thing you have to believe to have life you can believe jesus is a prophet it never gives life you can believe jesus is a healer it doesn't give life are we together he says believe in him who is the him who is the him no you see you see where we miss it we have been believing in rubbish who is the him who he said god no believing in god doesn't give you life who is the him that's where i want us to get to tonight you, you see that our confusion is the reason why we cannot manifest the reality of god's life we believe but what do you believe Are we together? You can believe the shepherd. Believe me, you will not be saved. Believing in the shepherd does not bring salvation. Are we together? Believe in him. Who is him? The Bible, I love the way the Bible puts it. As many as believed in him, 
see that brothers and sisters i am many things and all of those dimensions can give you different operations of me are we together a child believes a father a worker believes a ceo a jimmy's daughter believes in her father she doesn't believe in a ceo we believe in a jimmy adegbeye the multi-millionaire that's what you believe you will never get fatherly love from that dimension are we together now you may get financial advice you may get intelligence you may get all of this i believe in professor femi you will get the intellectual dimension there is a dimension of god you must believe to have life many of us have believed him as a healer you can be healed and still go to hell please hear me many of us have believed him as a savior you can have i mean you can have a what do we call it a, as a shepherd what dimension of him have you believed i will tell you now ready there is a dimension of him you must believe to be saved whosoever calls upon the name of the lord shall be saved what is lord the word lord means a conqueror are we together now listen please it's not just a savior like the one who died he didn't resurrect as a savior he died as a savior he did not resurrect as a savior he resurrected as lord a winner a champion one qualified to transfer what he has and the bible says whoever believed that listen whoever believes in him that name that was given he said he shall not perish the word perish is not the word go to hell are we together because the bible says whoever does not believe is already condemned shall not perish here it is but have money but have the word everlasting is a wrong interpretation everybody has everlasting life everlasting life is life that does not end your your life does not end you only change location to continue the living that's why we never say will you spend eternity you must spend it the question is where are we together now don't mind this my funny friend where will you spend eternity not will you spend you must spend it the word eternal life there is the word divine life is the greek word zoe i know you've heard it many of us quote it but just listen the word zoe listen let me describe it for you it's a life that does not want depend on any external impute for its sustenance it's a life that has the capacity to reproduce anything it needs within itself are we together now like you do not have to source for anything within that system is self-sufficiency within that system is the ability to be any and everything that life can become health that life can become victory that life can become wisdom so when the bible says we have life it doesn't mean we just have a new way of breathing in and out no something came upon you that all of a sudden translates you please i want you to believe this the bible says the focus in the whole story is the believing part whoever believes in him the lord who was a savior became a conqueror now sits as a king the father gave the son the son gave his life your job is to receive that life when you receive that life in reality the bible says certain things will begin to change you see the life is a programming the moment it enters you it deconstructs itself to different dimensions please listen the life of god is not just a big thing that comes up no 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 it is the life that begins to open you up to the mysteries of the kingdom it is the life you have received 
that begins to immune you from the activities of darkness many people have not received this life they want healing but they have rejected the life of god many people have come out for altar call father i i i'm, I'm born again i believe in you this and that but they have not received it he said as many as received brothers and sisters you can reject it many seated here have rejected it i give you my atm card you refuse to collect it you can reject it yet you need what only my atm card will give you you can borrow money from pastor lawrence borrow money from uh, a promise and so on and so forth and i say take my atm card the point is you don't just take it and hold it when you take the card something will make you turn behind and begin to read and follow you see the life of god is not how do i put it now it's not like something you just put in your pocket all right look at this i have this handkerchief so we say i have the life of god do you have it yes no that's not the idea of the life of god the idea of the life of god is like a programming something enters you and begins to walk in you it is god who is at work in us to will and to do so it's working the moment the life enters you it's like a genetic mutation it starts altering your configuration are we together now and the holy spirit is the custodian of that life when he comes he begins to open you up to the realities of the kingdom all of a sudden listen because of that life you are now spiritually alive you can have the sensitivity to know that life was not supposed to be like this why am i always failing you will never just know that ordinarily it takes that life to open that awareness in you are we together now it's like glasses you all of a sudden start seeing life from another perspective no i'm not supposed to fail like this i can't i can't just be taking it like that again something must change no i've seen a trend in my family People don't get married till they are 45. I'm noticing that something in my external environment is fighting the reality of that life. And the Bible says, he who has the son has eternal life. Zoe, God's kind of life. Now watch this. Although you have that life, it takes the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Please listen. To open you up to the operation of that life so that you can receive the fullness of the benefits of that life this is where a lot of people miss it oh I have life I have life the same way you say I have a car the same way you say I have an ATM card can you use it I have given it to you do you know how to activate the operation of that life do you know how to make that life work in you? We have been taught that it works automatically. No, sir. No, sir. You can claim to have the life and still die of sickness. Now, this is where Satan's ministry comes. The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill. If you don't have anything, he doesn't come to steal. Are we together now? Satan comes. His first ministry is deception. What is deception? Painting an untrue picture and convincing you to believe it. So you believe that I do not have this life. If I truly had this life, I should not be sick. Are we together now? If I have this life, I should be doing exploits academically. If I have this life, now listen. Here is where the confusion has come in the body of Christ. There are those who are saying you have this life. There are those who are saying you don't have this life you better fight your way into receiving it both of them are incomplete on one side you are seeing the supposed by faith you believe you know you acknowledge that that life is in you but then you are not seeing the difference the bible said should be produced are we together now this is the dilemma of many christians i gave my life to christ from the day i got born again my life has not changed it's been 10 years i will tell you why eternal life is being frustrated within you because you have not been taught how to release and activate the operation of the content 
of that life it's like buying a phone you admire it you look at it but you do not know how to work with it that was the lamentation of the psalmist in psalm 82 from verse 5 he says they know not not they have not they know not neither will they understand he said they grow in darkness and so the foundations of the earth are out of course the next verse says have i not said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high he says but you shall what die like men men listen please listen an heir as long as he is a child does what the bible starts by calling him what an heir a partaker of an inheritance a partaker of a reality but it says as long as he's a child the word child here is devoid of strategy devoid of the ability to understand the operation of that process he said he differed not from a slave i can receive the life of god that contains health vitality prosperity and still be under a cause i tell you hear me brothers and sisters because we misunderstand the prophetic dimension of god's word therefore if any man be in christ he is a new creation but we do not know that the communications of god are twofold there is the prophetic communication of god speakings according to his realm of existence but there is the experiential manifestation of that prophetic word it is the nature of god to call things as though they already appear are we together now hebrews chapter 2 he put it very beautifully he said god had put all things under the subjection of man he said god did not leave anything left but he said as it is now we do not yet see all things are we together now so you have come to answer the altar call the life is in you but you went back and the exact same thing you know happens when a man is under a curse is happening to you now you went to a pastor and said pastor you said if i'm born again this thing will leave but you the person said yes is it not in your bible we all read it together now you are born again brothers and sisters but the truth is if you will be sincere you are still seeing those traces as if nothing happened to you so it puts believers in a dilemma there are those who are saying keep believing that is gone one day it will go hey wonder shall never end if you have that kind of ideology you are in for trouble and then on the other hand there are those who act as though they really have nothing so they are trying they live per day we survive today let's see how the war of tomorrow will be i know that there will be all kinds of things are we together now so although they read that there is victory in christ the truth is they don't believe it they just know let's fight per day they are the ones who suspect everybody and everything if sam looks at you like this is a sign that is an enemy so they live their life with the consciousness of an aberrated perspective of warfare and by warfare they mean a consistent never-ending contention both are wrong are we together this is prophecy but there is a place for the manifestation of prophecy jesus christ has done everything he needs to do but i have a role to play nobody gets saved just because jesus died you will go to hell there is a response please listen the idea of grace does not mean not participating no the idea of not participating in a process to call it grace is an aberration are we together uh-huh the difference between grace and the law is what kind of participation there is a participation that is unto the flesh there is a participation that is a response of faith that is the participation that brings results are we together now so if the bible says 
by tithing you open your heavens when i'm tithing i'm not acting under the law i'm not trying to do something i am responding there is a difference between doing something to gain righteousness but in any case there must be reception by faith and that in itself is a participation this looks very simple but it's at the foundation of the lack of results and the miracles that many people are are not receiving i don't want us to waste this night and just get up and see people fall under the anointing and celebrate miracles and go back i want you to live victorious if all you think is healing you will be frustrated if all you think is on my think god's life and all its content is a way the life of god that can become any and everything any and everything christ has been made unto me through his life wisdom he's been made unto me strength he's been made unto me prosperity that life is the word and as the word opens up it shows me the dimensions of its operation and then i look out first to believe number two to respond everybody say believe say respond this is your part as a believer you when you respond to what you do not believe is a waste of time so the bible says whoever believes in him you receive but that life begins to teach you certain things and you respond to those teachings please listen to me part of what that life teaches you is that satan is a trickster he's a deceptive person and he will not just because you have life leave you the bible says he left jesus for a season the next time he would come he didn't come directly again he came through peter and jesus said i still detect you and the devil says do not i mean god said do not be unaware speaking through the apostle of the devil's strategy are we listening to me please because many people get up bragging i'm not under any cause i'm not under this christ has redeemed me from the cause of the lord that's not a lie but you have not learned how to participate in response to make that an experiential reality so you will still brag around and die like mere men are we together now i really believe in jesus christ and i really believe in his word but i also believe in the principles that the revelation of his life releases and my obsession is to always find out where is my part in this brothers and sisters there is a part there is a part that you have to play believing is not enough believing talks of conviction persuasion about the truth of a person or a statement but there must be a response your response is your action of faith so the bible says this in the book of hebrews there remained a rest a sabbath for the people of god in spite of what christ has done there still remains a rest and then he says let us therefore labor this is paul in the new testament what is the idea of labor push god aside no let us find out our place of response let us therefore understand the operations of the kingdom so that we will know where our place of alignment is and he says whoever labors like that there is a guarantee he will enter his rest there is a way you will align that sickness will run away from your body believe me it's not just by claiming um, you will claim and be shocked there is a way you respond remember during our time of fasting we're showing you different mysteries these are all the components that are called the life of god right he gave you life but it takes faith 
and it takes an operation of the spirit so satan has kept many people bound for two main reasons one they have rejected the life and the solution to that is an altar call i'm going to do that shortly before we start ministering the second is he has kept people in delusion and ignorance never trivialize the role of deception in a man's destruction deception the first deception is that you don't need to do anything again oh brothers and sisters hear me i fear god it's a big deception as free as salvation claims to be if you do not respond you are going to hell there is always a participation that's what we call koinonia everybody say participation if you will ever enjoy the healing dimension of god's life there is a participation if there will ever be prosperity there is a participation now the participation is a response of faith god credits it at the response of faith not an addition to what he has done it's a compliment so he would see a sick body and say your faith you believed i am able to heal you you were convinced based on the report you had and now i gave you an instruction waiting for your participation you got up your faith he calls it your faith so what is your faith faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction of god's word believing is not faith no 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 believing is the first step to faith you can believe without having faith a believer is not a possessor a believer who responds is a possessor there are so many people listen to me who are trusting god for all kinds of things here i'm teaching you how to get results tonight god is not a herbalist there is a participation a jimmy this is a gift for you what is he supposed to do watch this his response now he's standing up is a sign that he believes me i can choose to hide it please sit down sir sorry i'm using you hope oh, i'm sorry i'm just doing this game with your husband hallelujah hey, Jimmy, do you believe i'm having a phone and that phone is for you if you believe it walk up to me faith this is faith the walking to me although he has not seen it so he's putting my integrity to the line it's up to me to prove that i'm not lying so i bring it out if he comes to me listen if he comes to me and i say ah i'm playing he believed i'm the one who is a liar and the bible said god look for anybody who is greater than him so that he will show you he's not playing games are we together now let's look at one scripture thank you sir romans chapter 8 please romans chapter 8 let's look at verse 35 romans 8 35 just that one scripture and then we'll take an altar call and begin to minister romans chapter 8 35 okay give us from verse uh, 32 32 thank you everyone please read if you are a christian if you are a child of god this is good friday well even if you are not a child of god read i will soon make an altar call one to read he that spared not stop who is the he now god is trying to make a statement and is tying the certainty of that statement to something he had done before it's like saying he that built this bridge in kaduna and built it excellently is about to build something so in case you doubt what i'm about to do find out whether i did that thing or not he's about to make a statement and he's saying don't you dare doubt me for what i'm about to say he that did not spare his what own son but delivered him up for who what's the next statement how shall he not with him also freely give us what this is god speaking he said look at me 
your healing is a lesser thing i gave jesus what is healing i gave jesus what is witchcraft if i did not if i spared my son then you will know that there are some things i can spare but i carried my son i gave him and now i have gathered you to give you healing and you are asking god this my this i've been bleeding for six months non-stop and god said if i spared not jesus i will not spare anything whatever it would take me to prove myself i will do it if it means me killing somebody i will do it i i gave my son who will i not be able to kill listen this is the basis for conviction so every time the devil is trying to say look 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 will that prophecy work just remember jesus jesus begged the father to have mercy the father refused so listen jesus said father reconsider the father said you are joking stay there and now god is saying i want to bless you and the devil is saying no and jesus is saying god is saying just believe me and watch how i will do anything it takes is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am yeah is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am hallelujah if the father did not give jesus it's like a man listen it's like a man who vowed to punish every offender and he saw his wife and the guy said i'm a just person and he punished his wife then somebody throws a and say oh guy you know we are nigerians what do you think he's going to do you say that's my wife inside the gutter i'm a military man this is my wife i paid the price for six months to get a yes from her she's in that gutter I don't know the consequence of my action if you think i'm going to forgive you listen if it took god refusing to even give jesus a chance for negotiation for your sake then i assure you whatever else it is that is holding you must leave you this night <laughs> hallelujah do you believe me we are going to pray and say lord help my own belief that listen 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 that spirit that makes me keep wondering can god do it listen don't don't make that foolish statement tonight i i was praying on the tonight before i came here i was praying on the invitation card for my neighbor's wedding if you know the story behind that dear woman she shared it here all kinds of things when I met her, the devil was almost destroying her life. Had fibroid that was almost big like the size of a baby. She shared her testimony here. Supernaturally, that devil of fibroid came out the way a woman gives birth. It came out like that without surgery. And people were saying, ah, can you marry? Time has gone. Time has gone nonsense. I prayed for the card. And to the shame of the devil, we are dancing to the heavens on the 6th of May. <laughs> Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, your limitation is self-imposed. Satan is a deceiver. He comes to you and says, but can they really hear your voice? We are going to pray. The only prayer I want you to pray tonight is to challenge unbelief and say lord i lift my faith i'm ready to respond based on my conviction lift your voice and begin to pray i have a part to play i lift up that wall of unbelief 
least pray, pray. You are able. Are you praying? the anointing of the spirit i'd like you to mention everything that must live tonight listen please just follow these instructions i told you your response is where your faith is there are things that should go don't just keep quiet and watch them the bible says speak to the mountain open your mouth and begin to mention them don't keep quiet mountain of financial hardship mountain of cancer mountain of mediocrity oh you must go you must go in the name of the Lord Jesus hallelujah say after me tonight in the name of Jesus the faith of God is at work in me I have the faith to receive I have the faith to believe I have the faith to respond please listen do you know what happened in Acts chapter 4 don't turn there the Bible says they went to a gate called beautiful please let me see now sir watch this it says they saw a man who had been there and he he, he called on them for arms and he thought they were going to give him arms Peter and John and he, they said silver and gold have i none he said but such as i have listen listen i give unto you what did he have he said in the name of jesus rise up and walk the man was there sit down he was nothing happened why response did he believe peter yes did he get a miracle no why he, he could not respond and the bible says when peter saw him he said who taught you faith he held his hand and said respond 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 and the bible says peter held his hand and he leaping stood. the power of god is released at the point of response not before never before at the point of response when i began to minister here the lord was speaking to my spirit who gave me a guarantee that the power of god will move but as i began to speak I put pressure it's left for him now to defend whether he really spoke to me or not God will not just get up and act listen it was God that put this miracle service you're leaving your house to come is enough response already are you listening to me you're going to say Lord I put pressure on your integrity you ask us to come we have come lift your voice and pray don't be afraid of saying it pray Lord you ask us to come you are the one who anointed this meeting to be a miracle service now oh God we are here put pressure 
shown his integrity we have come oh god that you prove yourself shake it we have come hallelujah hallelujah now keep standing everybody before we continue there are people here i don't want you to waste your time and i don't want to waste your time there are people here inside and outside in all the overflows outside you are yet to make this decision the bible says this is the testimony that god has given us eternal life he said and that life is in his son he says he who has the son has that life please we're out of time we have very few minutes and there is a lot to do now wherever you are you are saying man of god i have heard your word i have been struggling with this thing but tonight i truly want to dedicate everything my all to jesus christ or you are saying man of god i have come out for an altar call before but for some reason honestly the pressures of life have pushed me and i need to make my way straight with the lord i'm tired of where i am those two categories of people inside and outside i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come out here right now god bless you quickly please i'll count just one to five if the holy ghost is speaking to you don't sit down thinking about it make your way very quickly one two run run like there's fire on the mountain especially those outside please you need to run run to jesus as you stand here please keep talking to him don't just stand looking at me god bless you run to jesus oh win that war win that war tonight this is an issue of your destiny koinonia can you appreciate them this is a harvest for the king of glory you're saying lord i'm tired of living my life my own way mismanaging my life on this easter friday i give everything to you keep coming you are saying lord easter friday you die for god so loved me he died for me i'm tired of living a life that is not worthy of my calling there are still people outside please run and catch up quickly quickly as the holy ghost is speaking to you and say join them make your way quickly you're saying lord i'm tired tired of habits tired of addictions run to the cross come running come running come running to the mercy seat. keep coming All of you in front in one minute i'd like you to talk to jesus christ please no smiling and pitching one another this is a serious issue please pray open your mouth by yourself and say lord i i come to you genuinely the lord is ministering to me that there are three ladies outside who should join them you wanted to go and one of your friends stopped you please friend be careful don't stand against anybody's salvation this night make your way to the front please and join them i'm seeing three ladies outside that the lord is calling one of you your friend was trying to stop you the devil is a liar please make your way to the front and then there are two others god is speaking to join them quickly before we start praying those of you in front here talk to your maker no man condemns you the blood declares mercy said no help me i'm not gonna let you go i'm not gonna let you sleep away No man condemns you. The mercy, the mercy. Look at me. 
all of you in front some of you are crying i don't care what you have done this one decision remember jesus every time the devil tries to condemn you are you not the drunkard tell him the drunkard is that guy on the cross something is about to happen to you right now oh yes oh you slept with somebody before coming here you say well i don't know what you are talking about but i've been crucified with christ he looked at the woman he said where are thine accusers he said neither do i condemn you go and sin no more lift your right hand and experience the power of the blood the power of mercy you just sing there is a fountain filled with blood very softly as i pray for them hallelujah listen brothers and sisters jesus can change your life don't stand here just making an emotional decision to go back there is power in the blood of jesus say after me lord jesus from the depth of your heart say it again lord jesus i believe in you and this night i surrender everything my life my dreams my hopes my ambitions i surrender it to you i receive eternal life into my spirit i declare that from today i'm no longer a sinner i've been crucified with christ and i have his life right now jesus has paid the price i receive his life and i declare that i'm a new creation the old has gone i begin a new journey satan you no longer have any accusation against me i pray for you keep your hands lifted father on this good friday we present these souls as trophies to you this is a response to what jesus did oh receive these souls koinonia present these souls as trophies of victory trophies of victory this is the sacrifice the rewards of the sacrifice hallelujah i pray for you i declare that your sins are forgiven and the power of sin over your life is broken forever every guilt the devil uses i don't care what it is tonight the same way you wash a dirty cloth in fact the way you bring a new one that's how the pages of your life is he gives you a new beginning in the name of jesus christ hallelujah a big congratulations to you in the name of jesus now listen i want you to do this real fast so you will join us i'm about to minister to people now and we're going to be very very fast hallelujah i like you to follow the gentleman there are people all around they will lead you outside we want your information please you are born again now christians don't tell lies make sure that you write your number you write your name just follow the instructions no fighting be patient until it gets to your turn they'll have your information and you quickly come back and join us in the service please do that as fast as possible so that um, you can participate fully in what is happening god bless you every other person begin to pray in the spirit rise up on your feet and begin to pray in the spirit and say lord my time for visitation is here i won't give up no i won't give up i'll keep pressing on till my answer comes i won't give up lord i won't give up i'll keep holding on until my change comes lord i won't give up lord i won't give up i'll keep holding on till my answer comes i won't give up lord i won't give up i'll 
keep pressing on until my change comes. Please write your prayer request very quickly and submit them. Let's do it quickly, please. One minute, everybody. If you have the prayer request of, of I understand that Koinonia is being streamed live right now. Can we honor God for that? Yes. It's being streamed live. We appreciate the media for their creativity. And for all our online people, we love you. The same power that is working here is the same power that will work everywhere you are in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So please, quickly, quickly, please, your prayer request. Listen, for those of us who are just coming, I, I don't want you to think this is some ritual. Believe me, God answers prayers here. God gave us a revelation. Hallelujah. And the revelation was the revelation of Hezekiah. Hallelujah. When he took the threat letter and the Bible says he put it before the Lord and said, Lord, behold their threatenings. So please write it very quickly. And then ushers, let's be very fast. Please help some people with papers next time maybe from uh, maybe two or three months from now we'll try to create expectation cards so that you can expectation cards leave her john leave her whatever she wants to do just let her do hallelujah we're going to pray please quickly your loved ones Please make sure the online community participate. There's a God that answers prayers here. Remember we spoke about faith. Those outside, ushers help them. If I were you, I would begin to prophesy over my request. And say, I wrote you because you must live my life. Or you must come into my life. begin to pass your request very quickly very quickly very quickly my goodness I tell you it's like a cloud that is heavy over this place that's why I'm saying we should hurry up we feel the rain of your love we see the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear See the rain of your love, feel the wind of your spirit, now the heartbeat of heaven, let us hear, so let it rain, let it rain, would you open the floodgates of heaven? pass the prayer request very quickly once we start we're just going to move um, let me encourage those who came with sick people or those who came for healing please make sure you get ready so that when it's time we'll just do that very very quickly hallelujah very quickly and then um, we'll be able to minister to people no matter what 
your condition is one of the things that we're going to be releasing today listen we had an encounter um we just returned from Ekiti state it's a lovely place and um, listen something really happened as they picked us from the airport in Elorin to Ekiti we passed a small village please listen a small village the border between Kwara state and Ekiti state and I saw one of the most miraculous things in my life I saw the obituaries of people listen 132 years 120 years it's like nobody died except they were 100 and something and in my mind i was saying guinness book of record has been lying to us for long and the, the interesting part of it listen is that the people they are not on glasses their dentitions are still exact they don't use crutches they are working firm one of them was a senior apostle that died last year 132 serving in the ministry alive and doing well when i saw those obituaries i said there must be a grace for longevity there, there is a covenant in this lineage that brings longevity and i told the guys i said when we're coming back we're stopping here you can trust me oh the law of honor as soon as we got there we stopped and we came out we went to the women they could not understand english please quickly with a request and we told them we said we are pastors we went to minister in equity and we are going back to the north but we discerned that there is a special anointing a strange grace for longevity and we want them to release upon us and then a lot of things happened that i may not say here and then they took us to one old man and the man just sat on his chair when we went they interpreted and they told him we came to receive that unction for longevity the man looked at us he said we should all kneel down and we got down on our knees and this guy began to pray and prophesy he's on record i'm sure maybe one of these days we'll play it was in yoruba i didn't care what he was saying eh, Jimmy. all i know is that he was speaking a language and my spirit was receiving it this guy kept prophesying releasing that grace and that mantle upon that territory upon us i said that's right i knew that there's no mistake about this the moment we finished with him honored him so the seed into his life appreciated all the people we were on our way going back to the car and i felt in my spirit to go back and thank the women i went back to thank them and i saw a particular woman and they said this man 132 years this is his wife Ah! when they said that I said interpret for them that we came for and the woman looked at me they can bear me witness she just tapped me and said you follow her we followed her into a room she just opened the door and i saw pictures from one side to the other she started showing me the pictures i thought it was the wife of the man when he was in his old age you know like ketura that was the one and only woman he married that means that woman should be at least maybe 120 years or something alive these guys can bear me witness no glasses no crutches no nothing i said what kind of grace is this brothers and sisters there are mysteries you've heard me say this thing and when we finished before we finished talking we all got down on our knees and we told the woman she first started singing a song i don't know what it was i don't care what it was this woman spent like 10 minutes just letting it out from her spirit and do you know i was i don't know if i was sharing with them i felt as if they put a crown on my head that's how as i was feeling i knew i got this thing immediately she got it i told her i said let's snap i held her hands and we got to the place we'll show you the video and we snapped and i said i'm standing face to face with a woman 100 and something alive dentition complete can speak no glasses ah it was you i was thinking about i was happy to transport that grace brothers and sisters we brought it it must land on you tonight <laughs> hallelujah i i was just looking i was looking to empty everything i had i said what kind of grace is this 
we went to minister in a university called Afe Babalola University the man himself is 86 years alive and doing well in those regions if you are 80 years you are still a child believe me then when we were returning I saw the shock of my life 141 years one how many 41 I saw the obituary he just died 141 I said I got it let's see the devil that will manufacture himself from anywhere to come and take my life no see listen if you don't believe in transference of grace you will die young don't you ever think it was because of the food they are eating I didn't see any hospital around here I just saw a church and people is you can be 190 and not be able to talk but you are 141 the guy 132 was still serving as a man of God you are cooking by yourself and you died and left the wife the, the mama tapped me in this place once you are 60 years you hold crutches what cause is that I always believed it but now that I've seen it ah, there's that song that says my eyes have seen don't play it my eyes have seen it there are many strange things that will fall today listen if you care you can receive if you don't when we were coming we were in the plane and the plane was bouncing like a football I just remember that old woman I said plane you are joking I'm surrounded by too many mysteries Please believe me. Hallelujah. 86 years, still a lecturer. 89 years, still a lecturer. Alive. 100 and something years. You see the women as if they are 50 something. But some of them are in their 90s, 80s, 100s. That's grace, brothers. It's not about anybody praying for longevity. There is an anointing that comes upon territory. And tonight in the course of the meeting is when it's time to pray that please receive it we need to be alive to do a lot for the kingdom pray and say Lord my spirit is open to receive everything you have for me Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Why do we do this all the time? We do this because there are spirits, listen, that stand in the way of people's destinies. Don't think that deliverance is just something we do mechanically. I'm about to pray because there are people who came here. There are those who represent families altars that have tied the destinies of men down i'm going to pray i tell you i sense a heavy anointing please the moment that happens i like you not don't just fall and stand up begin to pray and receive and reject everything that is not of god father your word says upon mount zion there shall be deliverance it says there shall be holiness and it said the sons of jacob shall receive their possessions therefore i pray every spirit every altar every manipulation of darkness that is responsible for the tragedy in any man's life inside the first overflow second and third as you shout jesus like fire let it begin to land on people right now one two three I command those spirits right now right now my goodness my goodness inside outside like fire is coming upon people is coming upon people is coming upon people hallelujah the Lord is giving me a very foolish instruction just lift your right hand that's what I hear right hand my goodness you don't need to shout just lift your right hand leave the drums just lift your right hand this 
don't mind me let me do my stupid thing the lord is giving me an instruction i see at least up to 33 people the lord is just saying i should stretch my hands the moment that happens i'm seeing like a stone being broken these are families altars in families lord according to your word right now at the count of three all the people and families involved i stretch my hands one two three let it happen right now right now right now right now right now just keep your right hand lifted shiba baba kata altars 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 right now in the name of the lord jesus bring them out those strange altars strange altars hallelujah lift your hands the lord is saying he is visiting fertility issues fertility issues barrenness whatever it is lift your hands at the count of three as you shout jesus anyone connected to you or anyone here under a spell of infertility at the count of three be broken one two three break 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 right now right now right now infertility there are some ladies feeling fire fire around your stomach fire around your womb fire around your womb fire around your womb is breaking is breaking is breaking is breaking is breaking shake it about is breaking hallelujah please lift your hands the lord is speaking to me there are people here everything you touch dies in your hand lift your hands please no matter what it is if it's a relationship it dies at the count of three let fire fall every cause of bad luck at the count of three shout jesus one two three go 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 right now those altars those altars right now everything your hand touches dies people come around to help you and they leave you it's changing right now it's changing right now it's changing right now hallelujah sisters lift your hands any stranger that visits you in dreams lift your hands speaking to you planting things the lord is giving this instruction every spirit husband just for ladies i tell you many people will be free right now at the count of three is like fire that will fall on you lord let it fall every entity coming to oppress these people planting barrenness bad luck one two three take it take it take it take it let them go now inside and outside let them go now let them go now let them go now. Let them go now. My dear, tap that lady for me. Yes, that lady nodding. An angel is touching you. 
He's bringing a miracle for you right now. That's what I see. I see like cold sensation coming to your head. A miracle. And as it's happening to her, may it happen to you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lift your hands and begin to pray over your request. Let it rain. Please pray. Go ahead and just prophesy and say, Lord, this marks the end of it. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God. Pray, pray. Don't look at me. Pray. Open your mouth and pray. Shekete preskate paradabalaba. Shopra tosko to praska barata pariadabash. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we turn. Go ahead and pray. Lord, my request is turned into a testimony. I must testify by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Standing upon the eternal counsel of God, the hand of the Lord itself will bring this to pass. The burden is lifted in the name of Jesus. Are not angels ministry spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? Let the ministry of angels begin to bring to pass every single request in this place in the name of jesus we command the foundations of the earth we command the firmaments we command the waters to begin to align themselves towards the fulfillment of this request we lift every body placed upon the shoulders of men by the anointing of god's spirit and we set these ones free in the name of jesus mighty and everlasting god standing upon your promise to us upon this altar the heavenly portals opened in this place we command a performance of the requests the desires placed here tonight in the name of jesus we decree the heavens answer speedily everyone trusting you for the fruit of the womb receive in the name of jesus promotion from on high receive in the name of jesus and end to demonic oppression it happens now in the name of jesus Blind eyes open, deaf ears open, destinies moved forward in the name of Jesus. Satanic burdens removed in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, because speedily, according to the seasons of life, they receive a performance in the matchless name of Jesus. We decree, Amen, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please rise up on your feet and receive the prophecy you can. I saw a spirit and, and I'm praying for the students now please listen when I was outside ministering I saw a spirit like bees released to produce massive failures in the exam that is being written in the name that is above all names I pray for everyone here the kind of performance you have never seen receive it in the name of Jesus the kind of performance I pray from the depth of my heart the kind of performance you have never seen receive it in the name of Jesus the grace for favor where you have labored and tried and it didn't work beginning from tonight step into a new dimension of favor step into a new dimension of favor every direction you have been praying and asking the lord to give you between now and next friday receive that direction receive that direction I want to pray for business people anyone in business lift your hands the strategy 
the strategy that you need to win in the name of jesus receive it right now may it appear to you in dreams in the name of jesus christ everything that has died in your hands i command it to come back alive in the name of jesus christ now i want to pray for you father that old baba prayed and released upon our lives the mantle of longevity 132 still alive i pray for you please receive it me too i received it from the depth of my heart lord you know that i wanted this not for self but for the house at 70 you are still standing strong at 90 you are still moving strong until you get to 120 no devil takes your life in the name of jesus hear me the force that immunes people from accidents comes upon your life right now the force that immunes people from terrorism and the wickedness it comes upon your life right now that spirit that kills people at the prime of their life when they labor and about to enter it takes their lives it leaves your life forever 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 hallelujah may you see your children's children to the fifth generation believe what i'm saying i've seen human beings bodily carrying this revelation you step into it in the name of jesus therefore anyone here that death is eyeing that you will not see the next miracle service or you will not see the end of this year i don't know how the plan is going on in the realm of the spirit but i avert it right now i avert it right now the same way you will live long physically everything that is good in your life lives long with you your health lives long with you your wisdom lives long with you faithful lives long with you two prayer points quickly where you have been rejected you step into a place i've experienced it oh let me tell you something hallelujah i will never forget you know jimmy knows the story in 2007 i remember that time i went to collect a loan from a bank remember the story i went to collect a loan from the bank we had done everything and then when it was now time for them to give me the loan they embarrassed me i was humiliated the same people who were helping me it was as if a charm came upon them and i looked at that person and i vowed that till i die till i go to be with the lord i will not collect loan from anybody living or dead i made that determination from the depth of my heart i said lord if you cannot honor me let me die like that i pray for someone here see listen if doors are closing against you is demonic don't ever say it's because i don't know so 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 bad. if if the person knew me it's a lie there is a man to the bible says everyone loved esther who looked at her like a garment you can wear it i pray that honor that brings receptivity receive it right now oh come on your amen is not loud enough receive it right now hallelujah the bible says you shall be as a delightsome land you know what a delightsome land is well desired in other words at any point you are seen you are invited i don't know who has disqualified you but i pray for you they may use your background they may use whatever let grace qualify you tonight let grace qualify you tonight koinonia i pray for you honor that you have never seen in your life from even people who can give birth to you begin to receive it strange honor 
in high places strange honor in high places in the name of jesus wave your hands and give god all the praise thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah thank let's you, give jesus. praise powerful words transforming words Lord, there are more possibilities in you. And I open my heart, even as your servant has shared, my heart is open for more. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's bless the Lord for it, Jimmy. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. You see, let me tell you something about spiritual growth. The one who seeks growth does not choose his diet. Are you getting what I'm saying? It is arrogance to want to rise to a dimension and then want to choose what you want to eat. Have you seen parents force children? The child says, I want sweet. The mother says, you need pap. You see, let me tell you something. Um, while I sat down listening to him share these things, I was only hoping, hoping that we don't get familiar and just recite it back, but truly believe it. It's painful to have revelation that does not transcend into results in your life. It's frustrating. Because no man can correct you. You already know what you need. But the grace to make it work. This issue of transformation. If you've seen us drum this thing again and again. You know, I was almost honestly, it's just, I'm just up here to lead us to pray. Because for me, I think that this, you will never hear it enough. It didn't take two services for you to get the wrong ideologies that are fighting your destiny. It will not take just a sermon. It will take repetition of new ideas. Repetition. 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 I was just thinking while on my way coming, I was saying, oh God, I pray that whatever is being shared before your people, they would listen. They would believe. Please hear me. The person who ever makes you think what you are being taught here is a small issue has cheated you in your small way. Not even an armed robber has cheated you that way. If you steal my money or you steal wallet or hack my account, you've not done anything to me. But if you make me think in a certain way and navigate my life towards destruction, you really have destroyed me. Are we together? People have lost their legs People lost cars, people lost houses, they lost businesses. But something active within them reproduced those possibilities again. But let me tell you the truth. You can have everything but a bankrupt mentality and you will move no further than you are there. I'd like you to pray in one minute and say, Lord, this mind thing, I will give it no rest till I am radically transformed. Please pray. Never trivialize it. This is the key. Don't wait to listen to this message. After 10 years of misery, 10 years of trying, guessing. Brothers and sisters, I tell you the truth. This is how it works. It is the key. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for. Affect my life, breathe on me. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Hallelujah. Let me tell you what is happening to many of us. You are sitting 
in a destiny time bomb. You know how someone sits in a time bomb? When you keep pumping a balloon, a time comes it cannot contain itself. The air you are putting in is too much for that space. And it will tear open. The sons of the prophet told the prophet, he said, where we meet with you is too small. You have enlarged our capacity beyond this level. Very soon, your level will start rejecting you. Something you are receiving, listen, is creating a reaction. You will not pray for it again. Something about your current level will start pushing you. Let me tell you how the pushing will come. It will come through criticism. Those around you can no longer stand it. They say, no, no, no. I'm, I'm pretending it, but now I can't take it again. New opportunities, certain things will have to stretch and push you. You are sitting on a time bomb. And let me tell you something. Many of you will be remarkably shocked. I get, I get text messages from people who once had the privilege to be in this environment and be changed. They call me all the time saying, how can I thank you? Thank God I paid attention to this truth. When you are lost, it is wise to listen to someone who has found his way. You see, most people do not even know what they need to succeed. But they will argue when they are given the keys. It's pride. It truly is pride. Let me show you a scripture. Acts chapter 13, verse 41. What a Jimmy shared just, it touched me. As though it wasn't me who preached it. 1341, please. You want to receive maximally from koinonia, be a child, be a child. This big manism, man of Godism, throw it out before you come in, be a child. When you are humble enough to be mentored and to be shown the way, your life will rise like an edifice. It says, behold, despise us and wander and perish. It says, for I will walk a walk in your days. A walk which she which ye shall in no wise believe, though a man declare it unto you. I am doing something in a man's life like a trophy. And he said, a time will come, I will walk a walk. That when people hear that it's the same you, Aaron, they will say, no, no, which Aaron? Aaron that I know. They said, is Saul also one of the prophets? When Samuel was talking to him, Saul did not argue. He was listening. Because Samuel was representing his future listen 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 not everybody is where you are so they were once where you are find out what was done to rise not every key opens every door that you are holding a key does not mean it can open every door some of us have left certain doors but where you are now you have never been there before so listen, pay attention. The key you have opened the door you already passed. But now you're in a new territory. You're in a new environment. You know, while I was coming back from my meeting, I was just praying. I said, oh God, how predictable life can be when you allow the Holy Spirit to guide you. The Bible says the Lord is my shepherd. This is how I read it. If the Lord is my shepherd. If the Lord is my shepherd. There is something about the leadership of the spirit that you are filled with the Holy Spirit does not mean you have allowed him to lead you. If the Lord is my shepherd, then I shall not want. He makes me. He makes me. He makes me. He doesn't suggest. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul. He guides me in the path of righteousness. And he does all of that for his name's sake. So people just see me in green pastures. People see me restored. But they don't know that there is a force. But the issue is, are you willing to be led? There are many stubborn people who want to succeed. You hear them venting arrogance, flattering their mediocrity. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you, what you are receiving cheap like this was not received cheap. A huge price was paid. You can argue this, but I guarantee you, 
if it is kingdom impact you want after many years of confusion you will return back to the same road and god will say you would have followed it long before now but now that you've gone around by yourself a journey of 40 days can become 40 years depending on your willingness to let god lead you it was never in god's mind for the journey from egypt to the land flowing with milk and honey to be 40 years there are many people who are adding trouble on trouble every time you disobey the voice of god you multiply your pain every time you disobey the voice of god you multiply sorrow upon your life listen i'm i'm talking to you from the depth of my heart please don't argue with the things you are receiving here. It is foolishness. You see me talking my heart out because I do not want us to fail. When your Christian experience does not have the kind of result it has, it's not only God, men will curse you. Jesus looked at the fig tree, expected that within this time range, certain things should happen in your life. And the painful part is most of our loved ones are depending on this. This is what our parents ignored. Because the knowledge was not scarce. They ignored it. And we paid the price of their ignorance. And if you ignore it, you are transferring the same thing to a generation. Are we together now? It's very important. I will walk a walk in your days. You know, years ago the Lord told me something. The training that the Lord took me through was so stringent and painful. And I remember one time I said, God, why are you doing this to me? And he said, listen, there are different vessels. There is the clay. There is the wood. There is the silver. There is the gold. Do you know the clay can choose how much it will be transformed? You can actually tell God, stop here. And peg the limit of your impact. But for me... Please don't stop, please don't stop Till I look just like you Please don't stop, please don't stop Till I look just like you God is doing something powerful in my life God is doing something mighty in my life he won't stop, he won't stop Till I look just like him He won't stop, he won't stop Till I shine just like him Listen, if you ever want to walk in the anointing, this is it. If you ever want a life of solid impact, you want to tame life as if the devil does not exist, this is the key. The predictability that God's word brings to our life. Nobody successful was born successful. Even if he inherited it, he was trained to receive it. Nobody successful was born successful. Prayer point number one. We're praying. Father, make my life a sign and a wonder. I will not interrupt you. Don't let the pain, don't let the painful experience make me stop you. Regardless of what I say, focus on my spirit. My flesh may be willing. Are we together? Lift your voice and pray. Through Joshua Selman. I will walk a walk through Koinonia. In and through my life. Make me. Hallelujah. Please give us Job 29 again. Let's, let's go back to the scripture that Ejimi shared. Powerful scripture. Job 29, please hurry up media. Give us from verse 3. 3. 
Let's read down to 6. Just 3 verses. From verse 3. When his candle shined upon my head, and when by his light I walked through darkness. Verse 4. The result. As I was in the days of my youth, when the secret of the Lord was upon my tabernacle. Uh -huh. When the Almighty was with me, and when my children were round about me. Look at the results. When I washed my steps with butter, and the rock poured out rivers of oil. Read on. Continue. Now, this is what I'm looking for. Write down maybe to verse 10. When I went out to the gate through the city and I prepared my seat in the street, uh -huh, the young men saw me. And there was a reaction. What was the reaction? How can a man see another man and hide? The Bible said the nation shall see you and fear. There is a level you celebrate a man to a point you become afraid. You are like, no, 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 this, this one is not, I'm no longer clapping. He says the young men saw me. They hid. The only person you do this to is God. A man can become like God. The Bible says they saw Paul and Barnabas and they said, this Zeus and Hermes. And they had to tear their clothes and say, we are human beings. What is it that God can do to a man that can make a man become like God? That your words become like God. Men have to advise themselves not to worship you. Because your life becomes so notable and extraordinary. He says the aged saw me. A young man. When an elder stands up. Listen. Listen. When an elder stands up before a young man. is a symbol of honor. An elder stand up. The glory of the old is their gray hair. But there is something a man can do that can make his father stand up. And he said, no, daddy, sit down. He said, me? No, not when you are here. Please hear me. There is such a thing as honor based on your grasping of the laws of the kingdom. That the aged can see you. You are young, but wisdom has made you old. Nine. The princes, you know the condition to be a prince? Trained in the palace, trained in the art of royalty. He said the princes refrain talking. They laid their hands on their mouth. This is not what they did. This is what they did. What a wonder. One more verse. The nobles had their peace and their tongue cleaved to. They are still arguing with you because your results are not notable. So when you say, they say, let's look at another angle. There is a dimension of the workings of the spirit through a man that will silence every accuser, no matter how arrogant they are. When you are anointed, rich, blessed, influential, let me see the devil that will argue with you. Listen, the Bible says, and Job is one thing to be rich and not be anointed. They can mock you with the anointing. It's another thing to be anointed and broke. The rich can bless you. But when God decides to fortify the dimensions of your life with honor, no nation can come from any dimension. Kabaratosia. Lord, turn me into a sign and a wonder. Lift your voice and pray. 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 Turn and a wonder. Katalato satabayada. A spiritual system that brings glory perpetually. Make sure you are praying. Turn me into a sign and a wonder. God's portrait of wisdom. God's portrait of grace. Turn me 
into a sign and a wonder hallelujah Galatians 1 verse 24 Galatians 1 verse 24 listen I want you to know that God is only glorified when the saints are glorified I was seated here and I saw a Jimmy's wife moving beautifully dressed that's the glory of the husband so you measure the responsibility and the honor of a husband by the reflection of his wife. Are we together? I want you to read that scripture wholeheartedly. One to read. One more time. Who was ultimately glorified? But who was the vessel? And they glorified God. When they saw the wisdom, they saw the excellence when people said ah nobody can rise and then you rise as if the devil does not exist perpetually smashing records that men say this cannot be done and you say no i don't know who the this is but the bible says with god without him many things are not possible but with god and they glorify god i like you to pray and say lord use me as a tool and a trophy for your glory lift your voice and pray glorified God in koinonia and they glorified God and they glorified God by the result that flow from your life by the result the track record of an ending wonder upon another Abarada kata barada ba 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 ba, rekete lekete la ba 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 ba, shaparoto soto bash, embre kata reto sote kene bara bara. Glorified God in me, in me, sana, sana, sana ne wanda. Hallelujah. 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 And they glorified God in me. Away with that, that rubbish thinking that God is not glorified when you rise. No. And they glorified God in me. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14. This is our next prayer point. 1 Corinthians 2 14 God did something a few days ago in my life it brought tears out of my eyes see eh brothers and sisters I want you to hear me koinonia if you walk with God you will never be ashamed if listen, if you choose to be spiritual and you are not ashamed, see, I tell you, this man you see has gone. Believe me, this man you see has gone. I know what I'm saying. You don't hear me speak like this. There is there is what God can do in your life. You know, this flight has taken never to come down again forever. He says, but the natural man. Receive it not the things of the spirit of God for they are what they are what another word for foolishness is nonsense neither can he know them because you must be spiritual to discern it listen the things we do here are not intellectual at all we break them down to give you the logic but you have to be spiritual to walk with God. Many believers are too carnal to receive results. Are we together? We analyze spiritual things from a carnal point. 
is it really true that by changing your mind, you no, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You have to be spiritual. And you have to be spiritually minded. The Bible says, um, it says, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, right? Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Then it says, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had set me free from the law of sin and death. Then he now says what the law could not do in that it was weak in the flesh and all of that. He says to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. There are too many believers that are carnal. Carnality is not just talking about fornication and drunkenness. No. Carnality is when you become so sensual that spiritual things look like a mockery to your intelligence. You are carnal. Go around Jericho seven times. I know what many of us would have done. Moses, stretch your rod. You say, no, no, no. We have building engineers. You didn't go to school for nothing. Let's begin to build a bridge and have donation. Let me tell you, those who will survive in these times are those who, I know you are educated and you are intelligent, but brothers and sisters, you must be spiritually minded. This issue of saying, no, let's, let's be serious. Let's be real. Let's be real. If any man must ask me out, let's be real. I don't talk too much. So I have to do Facebook connection and, and WhatsApp and the rest. To be carnally minded is there. Bring all your tithes, all these pastors. They just eat people's money. No, 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 sir. There are many people who are doing things that they don't really believe. It's not a conviction. They will only do it when everybody is around. But how you know you are spiritual is when you can do a thing supervised or not. Whether or not someone is watching you, you are tithing. Whether or not someone is watching you, you are there, See, let me tell you, there's too much hypocrisy. That's why people don't get results. Believe what I'm telling you. Are we together? Listen to a message and transform your mind. Okay, sir. But you don't believe it. You don't believe it. And it never happens for people. Are we together? Wrong music. Polluted music can plant seeds in your mind. Okay, sir. But we never do it. And so we junk all kinds of things in our spirits. And wonder why the outcome is not. Let me tell you. Those who get results are those who walk this thing genuinely under God. I'm not talking of perfection. I'm talking of sincerity and diligence. He said, now that you know these things, happy are ye if you do them. Are we together? I'd like us to pray. And you're going to say, Lord, this is my, my scientific over exaggerated um, um analyzing your ways i want to I, I want listen listen god says i'm going to bless you but then we we have to pass god through our scientific system oh god show me how it will happen god my god have you not learned in the bible that it was foolish things that brought extraordinary results. That's why Jesus said, until you become like one of these little children. I'm telling you, many of us need to pray for grace to become like children. This adulthood has punished many of us. We are not malleable before God. We can't be children enough to receive. Every time the word of God comes, it meets a wall of arrogant argument to be spiritually minded. Is life and peace. I like you to pray and say, Lord, spiritualize my mentality. I'm, I'm tired of being carnal. Lift your voice and pray. Make me a spiritual man. Let me believe your word. Please make sure you are praying. If you selling anointing, then I believe.
Alleluia. Alleluia. Be spiritually minded. Be spiritually minded. Be spiritually minded. Don't talk like a fool. There are people when you hear the way they speak, it's as if they don't know God. You speak like a Christian and go back and analyze things with utmost stupidity. We are talking about God here. The currency in heaven is the word of God. If I give you 1,000, hear me. If I give you 1,000 naira, I say, go and buy me something. You buy it. In heaven, God gives you his word and say, go and exchange it. And the Bible says, let it be done on earth. So go to heavenly currency. Take it and you are saying, Lord, I, I know, no. Will it work? The power that created the heavens. His word currency. If I give you this, I didn't speak, but you take it to a shop. Expecting a result. He says, so shall it be. My word that goeth forth. When I give you, when you say, Lord, bless me, he gives you his word. He says, if you take this word and believe it, take it and you will truly cash it. This is the word. Listen, let me tell you. My Bible says, he upholds all things. By the word of his power. Many people do not believe the word of God. You see this man standing before you. I have carried this word as my life. It's not an instrument for preaching. I have seen it and believed it. Verbatim unto death. That's what has brought the results that you see. The word of God. Stupid statements from the word of God. I believe you oh God. No, no, no. I will not argue with you. I don't need to know how it will happen. Let understanding follow, but my faith will believe now. Many of our parents have thrown the word of God to look for this. If I give you the word of God and I give you money, you will choose money. How foolish. How foolish. The word of God creates realities. Please believe me when I tell you this. A spiritual man is not a man that prays in tongues necessarily. A spiritual man is, a, is somebody who has submitted to the authority of the word of God to govern his life entirely. If God said it, Joshua Selman believes it. My goodness. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled. This word created the heavens and the earth. My life is too small for it not to create it. This word, when you believe it, quarter to shame, God will arise for you. This is what brought the anointing to my life. You see, let me tell you, many of us study the Bible so that we can quote scriptures and deceive ourselves. No, sir. When you open this thing and see things like, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me. This is Jesus speaking. The works that I have done, he shall also do. Do you really believe it? He says, for by this faith, the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand. You can understand through science. You understand through faith. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, everything you have spoken over my life, I believe. I don't know what made me doubt your word, but tonight I believe. Lift your voice and speak. Let, but believe it there is a blessedness of mockery Let, I cast away doubt I cast away doubt I'm a believer a solid believer in a living God Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible is full of God's vow for your success. His vow. How many times did God swear by his name? By his name. He says your gates shall be continually open. That's what he said. Listen, many of ah, 
look look let me tell you when when you want to get results please i beg you in the name of the lord jesus christ stop running after men i believe in destiny helpers but it comes from above through men to you it does not come from men every good and perfect gift comes from above from above i will lift up my eyes take the word of god lord you said this i can't be barren forever your word said this they say i have no womb that's what they said they are practicing your word said that my children will surround my table listen we are becoming fetish the more we ignore god's word believers are becoming fetish because they are looking for alternatives to god's word anything the word of god cannot do i i assure you it will not be done are we together please take seriously what i'm saying we really need to become spiritual men spiritual men are word addicts not word quotas those who live by the word and even if they perish that they perish with the word and quarter to shame you will see god alive to come and defend you jeremiah 1 12 please give us jeremiah 1 12 if we can get amplified that's great otherwise just give us king james we're praying please media help us let's hurry up jeremiah 1 12 i want us to read it together one to read then said the lord unto me thou hast well seen aha uh -huh. for i will what who will perform it you are not the person performing it so when god says i will bless you leave the dynamics to him your job is to believe him and find out how he will just find out what is your part of the deal hi I show you a cheap route to results some of these results you see let me tell you i don't even know how it happens all i know is god speaks i am stupid enough to believe him and i watch together with the congregation the wonder working power of god help me to believe you kill unbelief from my life lift your voice and pray I, by now if my faith were alive i doubt you too much I don't believe. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, listen. Whatever makes you to ignore the word of God, let me be sincere with you, is destroying your destiny. Are we together? If you do not know what God has said, then you don't know how to commit him. God is only committed by his word, not your tears. He's moved by your tears, but he's committed by his word. Number three, 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9. We'll pray this and two more prayer points and we're done. But I want you to pray. These prayers will bring results in your life. I'd like us to read it. One, to read. Uh huh. Oh, come on, read it as if you are alive. For a great door, an effectual, a door of marriage is open, a door of wealth is open, but it says there are many adversaries. And so, what do you do? You don't discuss with them, you keep them where they belong. There is a warfare dimension of prayer. Listen, listen, listen. The warfare dimension of prayer is when you engage the spirit and you engage the word to establish victories. The warfare dimension of prayer is engaging the ministry of the spirit and engaging the power, the supremacy of the word to deliver results. You force compliance upon the strength of the word. So you pray. We are going to pray. 
there are forces sitting on the gates of our destiny and say you must end this year like last year it's time to dislodge them open your mouth and prophesy come on engage engage the weapons of our warfare canal koinonia are you praying a great effectual a great a great to the anointing a great sweet of business connection but there are many adversaries i command every force to bow every force to bow prophesy in the name of the Lord Jesus destiny the princes of darkness I come against you by the mystery of the blood by the mystery of the word by the mystery of the spirit release my prosperity release my blessing release access Hallelujah. 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 Listen. Hear me. Brothers and sisters, believe me when I tell you there is no victory without warfare. Anybody who lies to you, hear Joshua Selman say it. There is a place where you challenge gates. They are ancient gates. They stop your father. They will stop you if you let them. I'd like you to prophesy. Challenge you. Lift your voice and pray. to the destinies of men I challenge you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While she pray, listen. Listen. I am a living witness that Satan can be tired. Are we together? I am a living witness. Breakthrough occurs when the powers that sit upon your destiny are dislodged. It's not by discussion. Hear me. Crying may help you but it does not help your situation. Are we together? Listen. There is a law in the spirit called the law of insistence. 
There was a woman in Luke 18 who was pleading a case before an unjust judge. The Bible says he feared neither God nor man. But she said, revenge me my adversary. There are powers that have taken what belongs to you. You are going to stand before the parliament of heaven and say, God, you are not an unjust God. I place a demand. I place a demand. Lift your voice. I place a demand. Judgment. A demand judgment upon the wicked they killed my dreams. I demand judgment upon the wicked by the fiery first anchor of God. I place a demand upon the justice system of heaven. There must be judgment upon the issues of my life. These large powers challenge thrones. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 Do you know why many of us never get results? We give up too easily. We change prayer points foolishly. When you tell God this, you say, okay God, I bring it down. Whether big or small, it will still take God to do it. Are we together? I'd like you to pray. You are going to force the door of the next level to open. Listen, no door opens by itself. You force it. Lord, your power. Let the door be open. Lift your voice and pray. Don't influence. of greater grace doors of greater power greater unction haparatata rikotos rekete kotosekete I command to the next level. I forcefully advance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, we have two more prayer points. And for me, this is the greatest prayer point we are about to pray this night now. Are we together? The Lord spoke to me and said, my people need divine direction. Many people are trapped because they don't know what to do. Confusion is the sign that a deceiver is in a place. One of the indices of the presence of the spirit of God is absolute clarity of purpose. Jeremiah 33 3. We are praying. Lamb of God, we worship you. We worship you. Lamb of God. I worship you. Listen, one of the plots of hell, hear me, one of the plots of hell right now against the church is to manipulate every access for reception of direction so that the saints are confused. Hear me, I'm speaking to you prophetically. One of the plots of hell 
is to manipulate every access that believers use to receive direction. Dreams, visions, prophecies, the understanding of the word of God. Are we together? Satan knows that your solution is in your direction. For listen, listen. When I sent thee, lackest thou anything? When I sent thee, I gave you direction. I told you to go to the lordship of Israel. Very clearly, when I sent thee, lackest thou anything? We send ourselves, we guess our way, we guess businesses, we guess job, we guess husband, we guess wife, we guess whatever. See, let me tell you this. That's why I, we pray for being spiritually minded. We are going to open portals for fresh access to the voice of God. Do you know a man can be grounded for 10 years because he has not had... And, and let me tell you something with believers. God has brought us to a place where if we don't hear God, we don't move. And Satan said, wow, this is strategy. I can take advantage of it. Since a Jimmy is bent on hearing God before moving, let me close every door for clarity. Have you seen three people bringing a prophetic word to the same person? Three different things. They are sincere, but it's a plot of darkness. And you are confused. You want to go into agriculture. You had agriculture. The next day, someone sends a word and says, sorry, are you a Jimmy? I don't know you, but I'm hearing God say you should go into aviation. Now, the person called your name, he did not know you. And at the end of it, we are left in confusion. The devil is a liar. No matter how he will masquerade it, my Bible says, call on to me. Listen, I will not show you can guess to see any nonsense that you are seeing something from the realm of the spirit. Do you know, let me tell you, including believers, you stand the chance of being manipulated. No matter how accurate you are in interpretation, Satan can take advantage of the laws of the spirit and manipulate your vision. He said, what seest thou? He said, an almond tree. He said, you have seen correctly. A man can see wrongly. It doesn't mean you are demonic. There are ladies that threw away their husbands because the devil manipulated them into believing that's not their husband. And they sent him away. Are we together? There are people who threw away destiny helpers. There are some people, the devil uses the face of good people to oppress them in dreams. Have you seen people like that? A brother that wants to marry you, then he comes with a horn in a dream and stabs you and you get up and meet a prophet and the devil manipulates the prophet and he says that brother has a spirit. Your destiny is closed because of manipulation. We, we laugh about it, but it's a dangerous thing. People are in hot water right now. Various places all around. We are sincere. We seek the voice of God. So Satan sends voices. But the Bible says, call unto me. What is the promise? What is the promise? How will I show that I have answered? I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Lord, where is my job? Where am I going to relocate? I, I'm tired. Today I'm in Zaria. Next tomorrow I feel like going to Kano. I, I just wanted to ask this lady out. In two weeks I've seen this one now. I'm confused. It's not straight. Lift your voice and cry. And say, Lord, clear this confusion in my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Clear this confusion. I call on to you. Give me clarity. I will not take a step until you speak. So speak, oh God, and let me know you are the one speaking. Hey, na 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 de. Hey. Call on to me. And I will answer. Pray. Lord, I'm at my wit's end. I need direction. I need your voice. My next level is tied to your voice. My next level is tied to your voice. My next level is tied to your voice. Pray.
is the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God. Yeah. It's the Holy Ghost, scepter of the King of Kings. Yeah. It's the Holy Ghost, seal of the age to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are praying. I know our time is gone, but please give me a few minutes. We have to flood this in out this night. The next prayer point is the grace to let the will of God be done in our lives. Listen, it's one thing for God to desire his will to be done, but are you willing to let him do it? He said, Father, if it be thy will, let this cup pass over. Nevertheless, not my will. Let me tell you why many of us may never move forward. We come around a dimension. Our wills are so strong. We can never say, Lord, let your will be done. It is absolutely spiritual to say your will be done. Lord, I know, left for me, I want to be in Lagos. But every time you keep telling me, Kano, I don't know anybody there. I'm tired of arguing with you. Let your will be done. It is spiritual to let the will of God be done. Lord, I have vowed that I must marry a millionaire alone. But right now, as you are touching me, let your will be done. I've said if it's not shell, I will not walk. But I don't know your ways for me. But Lord, I say your will be done. Listen, if you pray this prayer with all your heart, you'll be surprised at the testimonies that will come. Lift your voice. Grace to let your will be done. Let me not be the barrier to my next level. Let my flesh not hinder me from rising. Let your will be done. No matter how painful, let your will be done. No matter how pleasant, let your will be done. I submit to your will. I submit to your will. I may not know what it is, but I permit it to happen in my life. Let your will be done over my career. Pray. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Psalms twenty three. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life? A little here, a little there, soon your day will dawn. He's out working you, changing everything. I like us to read the A part just before the semicolon. Are you ready? One, two, read. One more time. It didn't say the Lord is my escorter. Let me tell you something. The shepherd is the only one who knows where the food is. The sheep does not have that level of intelligence. Sheep does not have horn. It cannot fight. It's only defense is the presence of the shepherd. So he says, the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. And then he says, I shall not want. The next line, verse 2, he maketh me to lie down in what? Now, this is where these three words, he leadeth me. One more time, say it. Listen. There is a difference between guidance and leadership. 
You don't lead a man walking side by side by him. Uh -uh. You lead a man by setting the pace. How will you like God to precede you in everything? Including the doors that are closed. Let him walk to it first before you come. He leads me. For a man to lead you, you must have the submission to step back. And say, Lord, if I don't see you in front, I'm not going. I don't care how long that door is open. Listen. Many people ignore the leadership of the spirit. Number one leadership is what? His word, his bond towards your life. He leaded me. He led me. In this economic turmoil, you can guess your way around. You can just go ahead and start frying fish just because you think you want to eradicate poverty and suffer frying fish because his hand is not dead. Are we together? You can stand up and start selling popcorn because everybody is selling popcorn. And your own is the one that will kill you and punish you. Because copying does not pay. People are led. People are led. Are we together? Everybody is entering a relationship. You just feel, I think I must enter. The day you enter a relationship is the day your life scatters into pieces. Because you are not led. There are too many people walking just based on instincts. There is a place for instincts. But I tell you, not in Nigeria today. Keep instincts aside. It may work in UK. It may work in Singapore. Nigeria's situation is a state of emergency. You must be led so that if you perish, you say, Lord, you said this. Let me tell you something. When you are challenged at the gate of destiny, your consolation and your support will be what God told you before you started the journey. So if he didn't tell you anything at that point, the devil will say, are you sure God told you? Every time Satan comes to people, he challenges the word of God. He told him, did God really say? He told Jesus, if you are the son of God, whereas God said, this is my beloved son. So when he comes to you, he will challenge the word of God. I'm giving us very solid prayer points that will produce results in your life. He leaded me. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, from tonight, I declare that I am the sheep of your pasture. Please lead me. I will not be a fellow shepherd with you. I am not, we are not two shepherds leading ourselves. You are the shepherd. I am the sheep. Pray. In business, you are the shepherd. I am the sheep. In marriage, you are the shepherd. I am the sheep. In ministry, you are the shepherd. I am the sheep. In my academics, you are the shepherd. I am the sheep. Lead me, O oh God. Lead me, O oh God, to green pastures. Lead me, O oh God. direction hallelujah hallelujah bishop Oyedeko among the seven different mysteries that he taught the winners family worldwide that is responsible for their result is the mystery of divine guidance are we together yeah and the Lord told him that if you are committed to follow, then I will keep leading. If you are committed to follow, so he can get into a forest and God will say like he will say, this is the place. And he said, yes, Lord. For many of us, science is leading us. So they tell you, ratio of three to one or six to one. For every one man, there are six ladies. Science is leading you. Because of that, you are in a desperate search. You wake up in the night, you are on Facebook, you are on WhatsApp, looking for everybody who is your tribesman, looking for everybody who, who knows your father or mother. It is an occultic way of trying to get your destiny because you open yourself to spirits. 
we together? Some of us is statistics and reports that one out of every hundred graduates is guaranteed to get a job within the first two years of graduation. Now that statistics you can let it lead you and produce complacency and unseriousness. Another popular statistic, it takes six years for any business to at least be established. It may be true, but you have an advantage. Are we together? Divine guidance. Listen, you must make a commitment tonight to halt with everything you are currently doing that you have not heard the voice of God. I don't care what it is. One lady met me one time, happily smiling that she's preparing for marriage. As soon as she spoke, my heart was heavy. God didn't tell me anything. My heart was heavy. I knew she was entering hellfire. How I was going to tell this lady now, she won't listen. Because you see, when we are stubborn over our own wills, God will step back. He's not a demon. And I told her, I said, my dear, I don't know who consulted with you, but there is serious trouble. This lady did not listen. Just driving ahead like, like, like a, a, a train without brake. That was how she went. And the next thing, when she got married, I think it was like four months, she found out that the man who married her was actually married somewhere. An irresponsible and a stupid man. He came down, cornered her head, deceived her parents, lied over things he was not doing. Lied about different things. Lied about qualifications. Lied about where and where he had worked. And so on and so forth. And deceived this lady. She sent me a text again. God is my witness. I'm sorry to have to say it publicly. I didn't even reply because I didn't know what to reply. Sometimes, let me tell you, don't say some things are better prevented than corrected. The correction will bring an eternal scar that you cannot clean. This is the word of God probably for somebody. All this rat race of doing it in the strength of the flesh. Why don't you depend on God? Are we together? You see the funny things Christians do for marriage, for money, for relevance. After praying in tongues, eight hours, ten hours, dry fasting, we, we mock ourselves. Please, listen, let me tell you. If you are for God, stand for Him. If you are not for God, stand for whatever you are standing for. If God cannot open a door, trying to open that door is a big frustration and it's foolishness. The door will open. That's the danger. But not by God. And it will destroy you and kill you. Divine direction. We need it in Nigeria. Many people are flying out of Abuja simply because there's no national cake again. The question is who told them to come here? And who is asking them to go now? Are we together? You may be running to a place you think is safety. But that's where the devil is waiting for you. And he will honor you there and destroy your life. You've had strange testimonies of divine direction. God said this. God directed me through his word. God said take three days prayer and fasting. Say no, this can't be God. God forbid. God, God. You know, laziness. God said for one week, wake up by one o'clock every night and pray. But slumber, you snore away the key to your next level. That's why I told us, look, we have to be spiritual. Little instructions we used to obey before. Now we throw it away because of science. Now, that doesn't mean you get up and do stupid things. No. The spirit of God does not make you do stupid things. They may not make physical sense, but there will be a spiritual logic and the presence of God and the honor that it brings must be upon it. Instructions. The next, the key to your next level is in simple instructions. Do you know God can give you a simple instruction? After the service, just come and greet Sam. Lord, why should I greet him? You just come and greet him. At the point you are greeting him, you will stand close to somebody who is saying, there is a job employment. Define direction. And immediately you will apply. And God will wipe your tears. God gave me an instruction last, I think last week. Just one, two, three, four. And I mean, that thing has, I would probably say has changed my life forever. Just a simple instruction. It's not in trying. It's not in hustling. It's in the word of the Lord. It's in the voice of God. Do you treasure his voice? 
One last prayer. And then we are going to round up. One last prayer. I believe in the anointing. Listen. I don't know how to tell you this thing. For every dimension of spiritual possibility, there is a grace that takes men there. Say there is a grace. Say it. There is a grace. There is a dimension of the anointing responsible for every result. You are going to cry before the God of heaven and say, Lord, the dimension of grace needed for this testimony I'm looking for land upon my life. Lift your voice and pray. Don't be tired. We've just prayed for a few minutes. Pray. Lord, I need a breakthrough. But I realize that there is a level of unction that is responsible to deliver this kind of result. For the next dimension. I have confidence in you. Jesus, I have confidence in you. Every time and any day, I have confidence in you. Savior, I have confidence in you. Jesus, Jesus. I have confidence in you, Savior, Savior. You're my master, master. Jesus. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. Suffer my foot to be everywhere. so full of me. Water. Awesome. I may be a mortal man, but let me get extraordinary results. We may be mortal men, but embrace us with extraordinary results. Suffer my food. I prophesy to someone here, you will not see shame this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, I speak to you from the depth of my spirit. Every orchestration to bring shame 
and a mockery to the name of God upon your life. I declare that by a wisdom you yourself cannot explain, may my God turn it around. May my God turn it around. May my God turn it around. I pray for you. Every confusion at this level of your life will bring it under the wisdom of Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any man who has said, let us see, may they see. In the name of Jesus Christ. The kind of result that will make even those who know you to ask you questions, may the God of heaven give it to you. Tear some results. Tear some results. Tremendous results. I want to pray just one more prayer. I believe in the anointing for ease. Listen, things do not have to be hard to mean you are moving forward. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Believe me, brothers and sisters, favor is a sign that God's presence is in a thing. There are some of us who are moving forward, but for every step, you pay for it. I want to pray for you. There, there is grace for ease. I have seen this. I know there is such an anointing where things can happen by divine pace, by divine orchestration. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus. I don't know what you have struggled to achieve. I release upon you grace for ease. I release upon you grace for ease. From tonight, easy results, sweatless results, easy results, sweatless results. Hallelujah. You will make a statement and the anointing will amplify it to bring results. Listen. Ease is based on a revelation that you are never alone. There are angels. There is favor. There is divine presence. There are destiny helpers. You have to be aware of all these advantages. Everyone shout, I am not alone. Say it, I am not alone. So, stop doing things as if once it fails from your side, it has failed. Listen, I'm rounding up. I'm sorry for taking time. Just give me one minute. If I am in business with one, two, three, four, five, six people, how many people are in that business? Six. If I fail and they are all responsible, will it crumble it? Answer me. Do you know that the equation of your life, God has put himself inside? There are many divine things. So that I'm not saying you should be careless, but you are so secured that even when you don't trust yourself, you are still covered. You are only one over many factors. I'd like you to say, Lord, I trust you. I cannot fail. Say it, I cannot fail. Because I am not alone. The favor of God, the wisdom of God, the presence of God is involved in my issue. Lift your hands and celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, our time is up, but give me a few minutes. I want to make an altar call now. And then very important announcements. Please, no one's leaving. Let's all stand. Please, let's all stand. In one minute, our time is gone. But there are people here who are saying, man of God, I need to know Jesus Christ. I've been coming out for different altar calls, but sincerely, I have never taken God seriously. And by this teaching tonight and this prayer session, I am ready to completely surrender everything to Jesus. Others are saying, man of God, I need to rededicate my all. No playing games. I mean business with God. Please, in one minute, I like you wherever you are. Boldly make your way to the front. The devil is a liar. Don't wait for anybody to come. You are the first person. God bless you. God must be talking to someone tonight. Make your way to the front. 
win that war tonight god bless you someone is coming i know he's not alone young and old make your way to the front those outside in the overflow those online connecting the spirit open up your heart keep clapping please they are coming quickly quickly jesus is giving you a new beginning jesus is giving you a new beginning jesus is giving you a new beginning please double up if you're coming those coming from outside don't let the devil stop you make your way to the front quickly hallelujah thank you so much if you're still coming please come quickly and join them those of you who are out here i congratulate you this is a great decision lift your right hand high to the heavens and repeat this after me say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you that you are the son of god tonight i hand over my life completely to you be my savior be my lord i receive eternal life into my spirit from today i move higher and upwards in the name of jesus keep your hands lifted father bless these ones they have made a decision let it change their lives let it not be an emotional decision let this be the journey to an extraordinary destiny in the name of jesus thank you ladies and gentlemen please follow the gentleman just um waving his hands all of you you have your details praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord thank you dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline 